Well, Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Meer Academia, and this is Hamza Meer. Well, we recently done with one of the topic of history, Pakistan studies P1, that was the partition and the reversal of Bengal. Well, today in this video, I'm going to continue with a new topic that is right there on the screen, which is Shimla Deportation 1906. So before we start this topic, let's see that what are the content that we are going to continue in this video. Well, viewers, here we have the very first content right there on the screen. That is, what was Shimla deportation? Four mark question. Usually, there are two questions that comes from this topic. One of them is a four mark question, and another one is a seven marks that we will see in our upcoming slide as well. So, before we move towards that one, let's see that what are the contents that we required in this four mark question. So, point number one we have over here is 8th October 1906. A delegation of 36 Muslims led by Sir Aga Khan, as you could see in the picture, called on Viceroy Lord Minto at Shimla. Now, if we talk about the detail of this content, there were certain prominent Muslim leaders at that time like Aga Khan, Nawab Mohsinul Mulk, Nawab Bukarul Mulk, Nawab Sir Samiullah, and Nawab Ali Chaudhary. They decided to make the best of this opportunity. The Viceroy at that time was Lord Minto who had taken over from Lord Curzon in 1905. The Muslims convinced that they could expect no justice from the Hindus, so they decided to take this case to the higher level. On 8th October 1906, as you could see in the content, a deputation of prominent Muslim leaders led by the Aga Khan and they met and visited the then Viceroy Lord Minto at Shimla. Over there, they requested that the position of the Muslims in India should be estimated not merely on their numerical strength because they were the minorities, but in respect to the political importance of their community and the services that they rendered to the empire because they served in the British army as well. So that is why they had two basic demands from the British in this Shimla deputation. Let's see that what those demands are. Number one, rights of separate electorates for the Muslims. In all the local and provincial elections, Muslims must be separately elected by purely Muslim electorates. And this is what we called as separate electorate, which means that Muslims would vote for the Muslims. That was the first basic demand by the Muslims in Shimla deputation. Number two, we have the more per percentage of seats in council. Well, Muslim must be given the weightage in all elected bodies. That is, they should have more seats in the council than their ratio of population warranted as they were not as developed as Hindus of India. Again, they are demanding the same thing because they are the minorities and wanted a greater concession. Well, these two demands were being put forward in front of the then Viceroy, Lord Minton. Next content would be the reply of the Viceroy. So Viceroy Lord Minto convinced British government for the acceptance of these two demands and he gave the assurity to the Muslims that their demands would be fulfilled. After that obviously we need to write about the reaction of the Muslims. Well to the Muslims these efforts pointed the way to an organized approach to solve their problem. This conclusion was also helped by the anti-Muslim attitude of INC. INC, which we called Congress, was not happy with the decision of the British and they called it undemocratic. But when we talk about one more thing over here regarding the Shimla deportation, there we come as the success of Shimla deportation, which became the reason for the formation of the Muslim League. Well, viewers, that is the complete content that we usually have to write in this Soma question. We know that four statements are required to get the four marks but for the safer side we tell our students to write a bit more so if you would write all this content surely you'll get the complete marks well viewers here we have the second question of this topic that is from shimla deputation right there on the screen that why was Shimla deputation important? 
or you could say that the Y Shimla deportation an important event for the Muslims of the subcontinent. So let's see that what is the first paragraph as we know that in a seven mark question we need to write three paragraphs with proper explanation. So let's start with the first paragraph that we have over here which is related with the effort of Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan. Well as we could see that the British they accepted the Shimla deportation's demand from the Muslims which were the two basic demands that we recently discussed in the previous slide. The British acceptance showed that the attempts made by Sir Sayyid and his other colleagues to restore the relation between the Muslims and the British had been successful. As we know that in the paragraph that we have studied earlier in the topic of Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan, one of the basic work that Sir Sayyid did was to improve relation between the two. So the proof of this one is that the British were now prepared to work with the Muslims and not even to work with the Muslims but to make concession to them. And the perfect example that we have is related with the separate electorate which has been provided in the Shimla deputation and more seats in the council. Both the demands were being accepted by the then Viceroy Lord Minton. Moving towards the second paragraph of this question that why the Shimla deportation was important, we have to write about the growing political awareness among the Muslims. So let's see that what exactly we need to write in this paragraph. We will start with the first two content that would be the rights and the status of the Muslims in India and the Hindus making progress. Well, we know that the Muslims were the one, their status was not at all equal to the status of the Hindus because Hindus were the one who accepted the Western education and they were more prosperous than the Muslims. On the other side, the Muslims, they neglected the Western education. But why the Shimla deportation was important and how it gave the political awareness to the Muslims? Well, when we talk about the Hindu-Muslim rivalry, it was existing in the day-to-day -day life. The perfect example was the Bengal partition 1905. In Bengal partition, when the Muslims, they came out of the oppression of Hindus, Hindus were the ones who were not happy. This time, when Shimla deportation was accepted and the Muslims were granted more concessions like separate electorate and more seats in the council the way we have seen earlier in the video, that, the, that was the major reason that the rivalry among the Hindus and Muslims now existed in the constitution as well. Another thing was that it also showed that the Muslim community had decided to ensure that it established a secure place in the constitution by their own method because their demands were being fulfilled by the British in the Shimla deputation. So that showed a strong kind or a growing kind of political awareness among the Muslims. That would become your second paragraph of a seven mark question and after that we'll continue with the third paragraph. Moving towards the third and the last paragraph of this question, when we talk about the importance of Shimla deportation, let's see that what exactly you need to write. The third one would be the formation of Muslim League and you need to start up with the Muslim came up with the idea that they were a separate community and should be treated differently. So when we talk about INC means Congress, they were the one who claimed to be the representative of all the communities in the subcontinent regardless religion. But in reality, they were putting up the views of Hindus only in front of British. This deputation showed that the Muslims are now coming up with the idea that they are totally different from the Hindus and they should be treated differently as well. Point number two, this similar deputation showed that there was a short step by the Muslims to break away from the Congress and to establish their own organization called as Muslim League which was established on 30th December 1906. When the Muslims they went over there to meet the then Viceroy Lord Minto, they went in the form of a 36 people delegation under the leadership of Aga Khan. This organized effort was the reason behind the success of the Shimla deputation and the Muslims realized that quickly that if they would be organized and if they would have their own political party they would have more demands or the more demands of the Muslims might be accepted by the British as well. So this is the last and the final importance of the Shimla deputation that you people need to write in this content. 
Well, thank you so much for today's video. I hope that the video was useful. Please mention in the comment box and please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Inshallah, I'll be coming with an upcoming videos with more videos of the same content regarding history, even with the geography. Until then, take care of yourself. Khuda Hafiz.